I'm late. I think I'm gonna have to run again. This is the part that wakes me up, baby. Déjà vu? I think I've realized that sunrises are a true source of happiness for me. Every time I've come out to see a sunrise, I, I'm filled with so much joy. <laughs> So I think one of the reasons I like coming out this early too is there's no one around. Give it a couple hours, I bet you there's gonna be a ton of people walking, feeling all cooped up trying to get out of home, and I beat you to it. So now that I've done three days in a row, this will be my fourth of vlogging, I kind of want to talk about why I decided to do this. And there are actually a few reasons. The first being the fact that we're all cooped up and we can't see each other in person. I think it's a great way for us to hang out. Secondly, I realized something when this whole thing hit. Already the freelance life is super unpredictable and this whole crisis proved it even more. And I'm seeing a lot of YouTubers right now still working, still vlogging, and uh, of course YouTubers are also hit by this, but they still have YouTube to, to do what they have been doing all along. So that's what I'm gonna be looking for, that stability. And the third thing is I just wanna get better at making a good video and telling a good story. I'm even washing my wrists now. Don't tell me you've always done that. I did not realize how much work daily vlogs are. Seriously, like when you actually think about it, you have to edit every single night. You have to shoot all day and then you have to edit every single night and the next day you get up, do the same thing over again. When you actually think about how much work that entails, it's a full-time job. But you know what? It's great because I don't really have anything else to do. So I'm actually really excited for when all this quarantine stuff kind of lifts um, and I can go vlog while I'm working on like projects. that will be cool to show you that kind of stuff, like behind the scenes. Hey, Maddie just uploaded a video. Whoa, see that dolly zoom? Okay, I'm gonna do it again, watch this. Hmm. So here's a impromptu unforeseen tutorial for you, <laughs> dolly zooms. There's the mask there. I use this wall and I drag my arm against it, zoomed out as I was walking forward, kept my hands as steady as possible. There's a dolly zoom for you. You can also use a chair. I think I'm just going to call it for today. That will be all. But before I leave you, I just want to say that uh, we should really all be thanking the people who are out right now, who have no choice to be out, and those are like the grocery store workers, the doctors, uh, nurses, garbage collectors. There are tons of those people who just can't stay home, and uh, I don't think we can thank those people enough. So thank you if you are one of those people, because you are keeping the world turning right now. You guys are nailing it. I really hope that we all get through this really soon. All right, well, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, subscribe, like, I don't know if I asked you to leave a comment about anything today, but uh, actually here, how about you? What do you think about this beard? I'm growing out the scruff a little bit. I'm using the quarantine to see 
how long it can get. You know, if things go south and uh, it turns into a, kind of an apocalypse out there, it's always nice to have a beard. I'll catch you on the flip side.